you even yeah. remember them all? Nope. Honestly, I've been pretty forgetful lately. So, I just end up brute forcing my way in by trying every single combination I can think of. Well, that doesn't sound very secure. We're really opening up. Bingo. I like to know them well. I've already been arrested once in life, which is off of my record now, but passed out underneath a tree in college and all of a sudden you're a problem. <laughs> passed under out underneath one tree and all of a sudden you're a problem. And then you get underage consumption. Dude, I was fucking not a good drink. I mean, I'm still not a good drinker, but... These are the stories that end up with Rod being Rod. Rod. Thank you. This is how I am who I am, Amy. This is how I am. I haven't had that many, but I've had them. This ain't moonshine, fellas. I assume that, like, being a cute woman helps when you get into police interactions, though. Like, no, officer, I'm not doing anything wrong, I swear. Officer, I'm just here. Minding my own business. Minding my own business. Oh yeah, definitely. Anything that's like not like ridiculously in like an issue. Motherfucker just pull out a fucking Tommy gun on me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't saying you're like flirting. It's just like that I feel like officers like with women get like their you know less on edge or whatever That's funny. He's like, oh, she's just really high and needs to go eat her Chinese food. I get it. Just don't speed anymore. Did I even been pulled over for, for speeding in like over 10 years? I used to get pulled over in fucking hellhole that is Colorado Springs all the time, but it doesn't happen up here. I think the last time I got pulled over by a cop because I, I went the wrong way on a one race street in Denver because uh, because uh, Siri told me to, and yeah. Hello. And then he tried to tell me I was drunk, made the person I was with drive. It's just like, ugh, you idiot. Aloha. Arigatou gozaimashita. Ready when you are. That was nice of him. What you looking at? What 
you looking at? What you looking at? Yeah. I'll take your life. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of them in Denver. And it was coming out of a parking garage. Nope. Just made my passenger drive home. Tried to tell me I failed the sobriety test, and I'm like, no, dude, I haven't had a drink all night, you asshole. And I had it. Yep, that's what I said. That's what I said. It's just like the most Rod story ever. It's just like, what kind of stories you get into, Rod? Well, well, there was this time where I got pulled. Oh, yeah, it's, it's that kind of shit that happened to me. It's like the last speeding ticket I ever got was in Colorado Springs, and the 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 cop tried to say I, I sped up inside the school zone, and I didn't during flashing lights. It's just some giant scam to get you to go to court. Pay a couple hundred bucks and then fucking uh they mark it down to a cracked windshield. Such bullshit. All the scams to just get fucking money out of, and Colorado Springs is real bad with that because it's a fucking military city, so they they just try to fucking thrive on hitting the all the military members. Just a bunch of horse shit. Just a bunch of horse shit. Yeah, I've got. I, I, I've never. Uh, I've never. For speeding, especially, I've never gotten out of a ticket for not speeding. I at one time when I was in like college, I was like Aloha. coming home from visiting a girlfriend at night or something like that. It was like eleven o'clock at night, and the cop tried to say I was swerving, and I might have been because I was. It was like fucking eleven thirty. I was tired, and then pulled me over in my own parents' driveway. But yeah. This is it. That came out well. Denver cops are, are generally better than oh, most geez. cities cops I've run into. Thank God. Hey. Hmm? I mean, makes sense. not like hmm? the yeah that's basically what I do Amy try to just go with the, whatever the speed of traffic Time might be a what you looking at? which is gonna get me into trouble one of these days because there's this the road that my uh my I don't I only go to work a couple days a week oh, right but like right when I do it's like they're like the speed limit of the road is 55, and I go, I mean, speed, the, the traffic on that road never has cops on it, or like once every six months, so people are going 75 easy, and so, yeah. Damn, Adachi son. Already at it, Yeah, huh? yeah you, you hey, are uh, hostile towards I anyone that is full of drink. bullshit, and cops Who's are often full of bullshit, right? <laughs> Good to know. Glad somebody's enjoying themselves. Man, I never imagined the two of us kicking back and drinking at a resort like this. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Better play it cool, unless we want folks to think we're from way out in the sticks. You know, you kind of blend in with the locals. Yeah, actually, maybe you blend in a little too well. You think so? I guess we're on the same wavelength. 
I was just thinking this hairstyle's got a bit of a Hawaiian vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know, Viata. I know. Maybe I'll get a little makeover you, myself. That's what I love about you. Oh, you are the least, like, do I'm not dealing with bullshit oh. person in the world Who'd that I know. What you even go for? Well, then how about something like Kiryu-san style? The man changed up his entire look, yeah? Yeah, and he looks damn cool, too. But isn't it pretty lame to just copy him? Oh, y yeah. All right. Point taken. Besides, I'm older than Kiryu, so anything I do has to be bigger and better than what he does. Ah, but still, what went down back in the Eugene show feels like ancient history compared to what we're up to now. Getting fired from Hello Work, getting roasted online. Man, we've been through a lot. Uh, you can say that again. Everything we spent time and effort building up just poof in the blink of an eye. I really am sorry for getting your agency involved, man. No matter how hard I try, I, I don't think I could ever make it up to you. Oh, come on, knock it off. There's nothing you need to apologize for. Anyway, don't worry about the agency. I just wanted to know what it was like, to, you know, being your own boss. Uh, but you had everything all planned out, like uh, with the company values and stuff. It seemed like you knew what you were doing. Did I really? I guess you're right. Yeah? I wanted to put my experience as a detective yeah, to Amy. good use. I get it. After all, there are some things a civ can do that an officer can't. I don't like cops for a lot of reasons. And preventing but... crimes before they occur is a field that still has plenty my dad, of room to like, grow. He was an I MP, was planning so... on working this old body of mind to the bone. Be a little more useful to society. Yeah. You, know? you finally hit the ground running, too. Heck, you, you were even ready to take your business to the next level. Right. I mean, my goal was to develop subsidiaries for consultation and security. But that dream's pretty much dead in the water now. Yeah, anyway. No use crying about it. Figure it's better to put one foot in front of the other and keep on moving along. Keep on moving. I guess with age comes wisdom. That was pretty deep, man. Ah, uh, maybe I'm a little too good at playing it cool. Truth is, I'm still kind of dragging my feet. But whenever I'm out there, lending you a hand. Is that is that where ro what rogue Asians do? Is they light <laughs> piano stores on fire? <laughs> because it's that thing where it's like, 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 like you know the stereotype about you know Asian parents making their kids like learn instruments and stuff like that. So it's like you had that real bad like thing. Your parents made you practice piano and then like, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It, it, so it just sounds it sounds like someone was being a little racist towards you. <laughs> I don't have to think so hard. Oh. I'm real glad you're here, Dachisan. Oh. When you came running with Namba, I just. I was just so grateful. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much the only one who ever says that kind of stuff about me. But helping you out makes my day-to-day -day a little more meaningful. Hey, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh, yeah? <laughs> then tell you what. What? We're gonna have each other's backs for the long haul. Even if I'm the only one getting help right now. So it's just goofy, but nothing bad, Don't sweat yeah. it, because I'll cash in and have you pay me back double. Ha, <laughs> sure you will. Ah, that's the stuff. I ever tell you how much I like Hawaiian booze? I do not drink too much. This ain't survived, so you're not just gonna add it to your tab. Nah, I got it. Sounds about right. That sounds pals fun. Now. It's just like Isn't sounds like right, kid Barkey? stuff, you know? Sure. Enjoy the drinks, Adachi. What the heck? When did you two get so close? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? Blending in at a bar is an essential skill I perfected back when I was with the force. You sure are a man of many talents. Must be the years of experience. You gotta teach me some of that. <laughs> yeah, see, you're, you're 16 year olds. Right. Yep. yep. How about another round then? On me. I'm feeling generous today. You, you weren't like Beavis and Butthead. Fire! Fire! Hey, fire! Hit me with the priciest drink you got. Whoa! Easy there, Tiger. I'm gonna have to take out a loan, but. I'll pay you back once my next venture takes off, yeah? Yeah, actually, Barkeep, could you just get us another round of what we're <laughs> having now? 
I've done a lot of these drinking things today. Aloha. Hey, hey. Need some? Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> For playing with, oh. with playing with lighter fluid, that's crazy. That great. Oh. my plate. Yeah, that's crazy. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Ichiban. You got a minute? Uh, I wanted to ask something. Me? Sure. I'm always down. I, I, not to get too heavy, but it's uh, about Marie again. Yeah, you remember? You know, a after I went to prison, she pretty much vanished from the earth. Figured she never wanted me to look for her. And, and I'm fine with that, if she's happy somewhere. So I, uh, I got in touch with some old friends we had, ones I haven't seen since. I asked if any of them had heard from her, I know how she's doing. Holy shit, did you find anything out? Is she okay? Long story short, yeah, probably. I don't know 100% yet. I can't believe it. Hey, yeah. What the heck? Why do I seem happier than you? Marie's friend told me that while I was locked up, she nosedived bad. She'd already quit her job for the baby. But then she lost touch with everyone else in her life. Oh, okay. She might have left Hawaii entirely at that point, according to that. It's just one of those, like, really? those weird, well, based in facts kind funny. of stereotypes, you know? Yeah, but recently someone saw her on a beach here in the city. She's back in the old neighborhood. Uh, apparently, she looks all right from a distance. Well, what are you going to do? Tell me. Yeah. Marie... Maybe back. I mean, stereotypes exist for a reason, and I don't know how PC that is to say for like, like, but like, yeah, it's these these things usually are associated with as stereotypes because of for a reason, you know. It's not like they for make things know, up, you know. She only got there by burying the past. Yeah. In that case, she could very well want me to stay forgotten. But no way. She wouldn't think that. And there's. You know, what have I done besides lick your mice boots since I got out again? If I saw Marie today, what would she think of me? Meanwhile, she could be with a new guy. Hell. Dude, I did, a uh, I played clarinet in, like, 6th, oh, 7th, and 8th grade, or 6th and 7th grade, and I, because my dad had played clarinet, so he owned one, so, like, I just, and I fucking hated it. I was so ADHD and didn't know, and music is, like. What am I supposed to do? In your imagination, Marie would really never want to think about you again? Yeah. I mean, why would she? Look, forget it. I shouldn't have brought this shit up. Just, uh, tell me one thing, honestly. What would you do in my place? You're me. Would you really go look her up? Uh. There is no right answer here. You can't know anything for sure. And that's true, but it sucks shit. Think of it like this. In 10 or 20 years from now, what would you regret most? It is possible that seeing you will only bring back bad memories. But the thing is, hmm? nothing will ever be certain. I sent the new song to you, Amy. See it with your own eyes. Understand? You're worried. I mean, well, what if yeah, she doesn't want probably. To well, what if she's in trouble and needs help? I, I... I don't know. If you really can't do it yourself, I can go check up on her for you. Promise, don't let this opportunity pass you by. It'll yeah. It'll keep haunting you forever if you do. Easy, man. And... Uh, Sorry if I was out of line Song's dope, there. though. Out of line? No. I, I needed you more than I realized. Thank you. You really helped me. <laughs> cool. You're cool. Right. 
All I know is that Marie, or someone who looks like her, is in town. Unless I see for myself, everything else is my mind running wild on me. <laughs> I hope she's doing well. So do I. <laughs> Even if that means she's got no room in her life for me. Yeah, you know, if I can be sure that she's happy, I'll be okay. <sighs> You're a hell of a guy, Tommy. Is it me, or do you sound sad now? Well, this might undermine my advice, but the truth is, I'm in the lurch, too. I proposed to this girl a while back, and she still hasn't given me an answer. Whoa, whoa, you're down worse than Man. I am. I've been listening to you? Yeah, that's that's like <laughs> that, that's more like stereotypical that. Asian Shit. parent stuff, right? You need advice from me? Stereotypes? Uh, let me think. <laughs> Tell me, find Marie first, and then we'll get to my problems. Did did she want you to be a doctor <laughs> or like a lawyer Man, or something too? Ending on a sour note. Yeah, that's why you end chats like this with drinks. Not it's words. like it's like well said. Yeah. God, it is. I'm gonna end up finishing up all these and then ending stream. I think I don't know. Like I. Yo, Chichan. Okay, which hey, is that's not bad. I already started drinking without you. But the thing is, this is the thing with that, and this is like something that I wish parents would do. Like I'm never having kids now, right? But like it's like ha ha encourage your kids to do something that makes you happy, not make money. Yeah, I can see that. Money. I know I make. You? I know money makes it sure. easier to be Go happy, but. Oh, yeah. The last time it was just the two of us drinking, it was a little incident. Let's just say it left me in a real bad spot. Right, right. You got drugged and tossed out in public. Buck naked. Maybe you ought to be more careful, just so it doesn't happen again. Man, that feels like forever ago. Yeah. A lot sure changed, huh? When I first came to Hawaii, I didn't know a single soul. But now it's like, I've got the whole gang here. Well, it goes to show you're a real popular guy. You always end up making friends left and right. You make I do feel so uh, like a kindred spirit with Ichiban, really? you know? <laughs> Personally, I think I've got way more enemies. Mm. Yeah, fair. Mm. The two of us sitting like this actually reminds me of the time I drank with my dad. Your dad? Oh, you mean the head of the Fujinomiya family? Well, everyone calls him the chairman. He's surrounded by associates at all times. But his real... Ripley, the older dog, had was like, they we think she has a urinary Family? tract infection, so well, she was at the we're vet. Just for show. For real? What the actual heck? If you're representing the great Fujinomiya group, then you gotta be the perfect dad, adored by all, and especially by your family. Yeah, that's we're just that's how you're rich, man. To help sell that image. It's like having people that Whenever hang out we take with a family and love, photo, you know? there'd be an entire camera crew. Felt like we were posing for a company commercial. I'm guessing you don't exactly like your dad. Yep, just about. Can't say we've got a healthy relationship. Did you drink with your dad a lot? Huh? You said this reminded you of that earlier, didn't you? Oh, yes I did. I only ever drank with him once, though, just before I came here. Didn't even have fun either. Drinking alone with your parent is. Dude, the last time I dr the only uh, maybe it's not the only, but like the last time I drank with my dad, I dr finished we finished off a Costco bottle of wine, and I fucking threw just up everywhere. Yeah, I went. Oh, so much wine! I never had a chance to Ugh. drink with either of mine. Oh God, 
I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Anyway, what did you guys even talk about then? Hmm. What was it again? Stuff about how much our company's stocks were worth? He went on about restructuring, about what sucked, and about making cuts. Maybe that's all he could think about. So that was the only way he could pass the time. Okay then, but why were you two drinking together in the first place? My dad invited me out. We didn't know how long I'd be in Hawaii at the time. Since we wouldn't be seeing each other for a while, maybe he wanted to give parenting a shot. Even if it was just a formality. <laughs> you don't have to be so negative about everything, you know? <laughs> you know, I'm kind of jealous of you, Ichiban. Of uh, who now? Because, <laughs> like, you love your parents so much. You even came all the way to Hawaii to meet one of them. I don't think I could ever see my parents that way. It's a personal problem, though. It's not too late to start improving your relationship now. Uh, he's still around, right? Yeah, true. Can't be much different than this. You guys are around the same age, so... <laughs> is your dad, Chichan? A little older than 50. Oh, guess you're right. Well, I'm almost pushing 50 now. Having a drink with you is kind of relaxing, Ichiban. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm having a great time, too. So, don't go drugging me again, all right? <laughs> uh, sorry, but I what love was that him. again? I can't keep track of every little instant. <laughs> Exactly what a big shot would say. God, look at all these fucking... Okay, you look kind of upset. <sighs> do I? I? I guess that's no big surprise. Hey, do you feel like talking? I'm down to listen. Yeah, I got it a couple weeks ago. You can probably imagine what happened. I ended up seeing her. Okay, so? Actually happened by accident, kind of. She was just at that same beach, like I'd never seen her before. And the rumors were true. She came back to Hawaii only recently. I, mean, I didn't get close, but it was her, without a doubt. I sent you a picture what? of it in you Discord. I love it. Yeah, it's a oh, it's God. a Subaru cross track. was there, and her boyfriend was right with heated seats. Ah, oh, lovely. Damn it! Uh, how did she look? At least, from what I could tell, she looked great, and they seemed to be very, very close. They were making that beach of paradise. Laughing, kissing, staring at each other. So, in other words, she looked happy, right? Well, I mean, when we were together, she she seemed happier. It's, it's nice. Other I like it a lot. <sighs> you know she's safe now, anyway. You weren't sure she was even alive before, right? That's good. Yeah, I could take some solace in that. Never forgive myself if the worst had happened. But how do I say this? Knowing she's doing so well without me. It's it green. It's green. That was why I waited. I, I had to wait so long because I wanted I that color. You, feel. you do, right? One of the reasons say, I had to wait so you long. Try getting a bit closer, at least. You don't have to settle for a distant glance. Yeah, but if she and her boyfriend are doing as great as they seem, I'm, I'd really be in this shit. Okay, Mel. Suck it. If What's they up, buddy? Me following them a few meters behind, real think I've gone totally crazy. Mm, you're not wrong. Okay, time for me to step up and do my part. Your part? I'll stroll by the two of them, casual, and I'll feel out the vibes. Hey, you think you could pull that off? Nice, Look, Mel. If I just clock him for a few minutes, how hard could it be? Um, yeah, sorry. 
but you couldn't even play it cool enough to get your proposal answered. Uh, okay, well, back to Marie then. <laughs> what kind of guy was her boyfriend anyway? Uh, probably in his 40s. Clean cut type. Looks like he's got money. All right, all right. What else? Yeah, average build, a little on the thin side. No more brains than brawn. He looked nice. Um, how did Marie act with him? She had acted real goddamn happy. Right. That's it. You keep going, don't stop. There's gotta be some way this isn't what it seems like. I never said we're stopping, Tommy. Okay, um, uh, first of all, we have to be absolutely sure. Huh? Look, sometimes it's really hard to gauge how a girl's feeling. If I were you, I'd want conclusive proof her happiness is more than skin deep. Any woman can look happy. It's your responsibility to find out if her face is telling the truth. Ichiba, you're right. What do you think I should do? You and Marie could just talk to each other. For all you know, she might have come back to Hawaii hoping to find you. No way. Even I can't get behind that much wishful thinking, man. Besides, I just know I'd say something stupid, make things worse for her. It's not time yet. Uh, I'll talk to her. I will, when I'm ready. Okay, yeah, sure. Thanks for listening again, Ichiban. Honestly, I couldn't get through this without you. Hey, I'm here for you. Listening doesn't cost a thing. <laughs> We're friends after all. I still got no idea how to proceed. But Marie wise, but no matter what, I know it can't end like this. And I know something else. I got a good trustworthy. You have to talk with, with your hands back. a lot, Mel. It's Mel's a lot of hand talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it, but. You really are an easy guy to talk to, bud. Sheesh. Oh. Well, hey there, Chichan. Hey, you down to drink? Sure, happy to join you. You she? I can't. I sound, sound, sound like a fifties gangster, forties gangster, thirties gangster. Are. No lie, that's kind of surprising. Things change when you got here. Well, the first time we met, it was just us at Akane-san's place, right? After that, it was Dwight. Dwight? As in Barracuda Dwight? Do you know any yep. other Dwight? Oh, right. You, you tried to make your way into District 5. I did a whole bunch of them at the beginning of the, of the stream, like Amy, too. with, uh, with uh, hey, I Kiru. I the sheltered daughter of the Fujinomiya family, but I was trained in self-defense, you know. I had a great instructor. That's why I figured I could look after myself back there. An instructor? Yeah, Tendasan. I call him my cramps, though. He's been there for me ever since I was born. Yeah, he, he had a lot of whiskey. What kind of self-defense did you learn from your cramps? I don't know. He taught me a bunch of different things. I think he tailored the lessons himself to work best for me. He made sure I could incorporate different dance techniques I learned, like from ballet and stuff. Wow. Well, after hearing all that, that is super it's cute. clear you're real high class. My parents basically left our upbringing in the hands of other people. Most everything I know, I learned from them. Tendasan's here in Hawaii, actually. Came with me as a chaperone, sorta. Yeah, she's real Wait, talented. Then isn't he worrying himself sick over you right now? Yeah. I'm excited because Kat, who did my emotes, I is, I'm going to be doing a role playing game with her. Time time. And I don't really don't know but her, nowadays, so it's going to be interesting. I've been telling him I'm too busy and that he's got nothing to worry about. <sighs> Bet that made him worry even more. I do send him updates, though. Like, I'll shoot him a message saying everything's okay. Well, if he found out about how you've been kicking ass with us this whole time, he'd definitely flip. How old is this guy, anyway? Yeah. 77. You sure answered that pretty quick. Only because I just sent him a birthday present. I'm always giving him a hard time, so I figured I ought to gift him a little something. 
That's nightmare fuel, Amy. Here, have a look. This is Tenda-san. I, I can kind of see how tough he must have been, you know, back in the day. Well, he's long past his prime. Even I think he's gotten smaller over the years. Gotcha. <laughs> he used to travel all over Japan to train. Don't know if it's true or not, but when he was in Hokkaido, he once sent a bear flying. Oh, sounds like a tall tale to me, but either way, he sounds like a riot. My dad and the other servants are always trying to act cool, but he was different. He was the only one who'd tell funny jokes and the only one who'd smile and forgive me if I ever did something stupid. Sounds like he means a lot to you. Yeah, he does. That's pretty funny. I like it. I'm sure if you guys met Gramps, you'd get along great. He's real humble, especially around people younger than him. He's always super calm and willing to help out in any way. And uh, because of that, the poor man was pressured into being my chaperone. I wonder how he's doing right now. At the very least, I hope he's enjoying his stay in Hawaii. Yeah, I hope so too. I'd meet up with him if I could, but I don't want my whole family up in my business. I plan on treating him again for his 78th. I'll be sure to get him an even better gift then. Yeah? What'd you get him for his 77th? A smartwatch. Oh, that thing you wear around your wrist, right? And it'll measure your pulse and blood pressure? It'll even send alerts if it detects any irregularities with your heart. Mm, pretty smart of you. Bet that makes a great gift for the elderly. It's even got GPS, so I don't have to keep worrying about him. Say what? Say he what? Tries to spy and sneak up on me? I'll find out right away. Uh, well, that's a little cruel, ain't it? I feel bad for the old man. Yeah, maybe. All the drinking today, man. God, she's got another one? Hey, Tommy. Oh, sit down. Get a drink. Have I got a story for you? Hey, that sounds oh, right. Do you now? Oh, I might be in the mood for a story. Yeah, well, here it goes. Things move fast, all of a sudden. Don't freak out. You ready for this? <laughs> You're really hyping this up. Marie's boyfriend and I got to talking, like just him and me. He told me about her. Yeah? How'd you manage that? Well, first, Marie's friend gave me some information on him after I asked. His name's Kondo, and he's a professor, I guess. Marine bullshit. You know, but ocean stuff. Uh, you know, guy rakes it in, apparently. He's like some top fish guy. Been on TV and everything. Whoa, that's pretty impressive, huh? Some top fish so? guy? I don't know, man. You can't tell someone's character from some fancy title. Sure, fair enough. So, I waited. Kondo's a busy man. But I got him alone, started to chat. Get this. I used a fake name. Apparently, he's <laughs> new to Hawaii, so I offered to show him around. How the hell did you manage all this? Uh, you know, I had to do it. For Marie's sake. Now, I owe it to her to see what type of guy he is. All right, so uh, you pretended to be a stranger, uh, spoke to Kondo, and gave him a tour of the city? That sounds like a I didn't bad plan. Damn idea. I said I'd buy him a drink, and he came along without a second thought. I can't believe you left me out of it. You're concerned about Marie, too, you know? Haven't you got enough going on? You know, I figured I'd just catch up with you here. So what happened? Kondo give you anything useful? Mm, yeah, I told him I went to the same college Marie did, and then my name's Thomas. I mentioned the place real casually, so he goes, Oh, that's my girlfriend's old alma mater. Oh, I get it. So he made Marie the subject of the conversation. Hi, yep, Zelda. Kondo said he met Marie in a bad place, just after she left Hawaii. She was working some touristy jobs before she became his research assistant. I mean, actually, Marie always did have a thing for the ocean. I guess, yeah, it doesn't make sense, huh? So, one thing leads to another, and Kondo falls for her. They dated for a year, 
And then they got engaged. Okay. End of the day. I couldn't find a single flaw to exploit in the guy. <laughs> I'll say this much, though. For some pointy-headed professor, he's a fucking doofus. If I had uncovered some nasty flaw, I might not have been able to stop myself from kicking his ass. Hey, come on. Don't say that. You know, right. Because I realized... Isn't that great? The one I'm really hurting is Marie. I mean, the fact of the matter is, I'm an ex-con. Nothing but Yamai's goon until just recently. Society is never going to look at Kondo and me in the same way. I'm petting the Zelda. Seems like my only option is to back down. Yeah, it's Hope dude. I'm excited because it. From afar. Two years. From they. Afar, I think they have a new album cut working on. So. Avoid. You're sharing the same city. Yeah, that brings me to the twist. Hmm? In just a few days, they're leaving Hawaii, for good this time. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'll never see Marie again after that. Oh, shit. Kondo says Marie Yeah, it's wonderful. Fight. I've listened to it a bunch of times According already. To her, she has too many bad memories haunting her. And Kondo's such a moron, he doesn't even know what she's talking about. Marie's chance of a happy life here died with us. She couldn't even bear to say goodbye to me. So fuck it all then. If she needs to forget me, let her. What are you doing, Zelda? If that's what it takes for her to find peace. End of the road. So concludes the tale of me and Marie. She's been having so much fun. Zelda's been having so much fun with the snow. Tell me, if you need to let it out, you should. And Hob. I'm, I'm not going to cry in the bar. I got some dignity. I know. Don't worry. It's all good. Appreciate you hearing me out, like always. I'll get my shit together, I promise. Till Marie leaves Hawaii again, I've just got to make sure I'm out of sight. Oh, yeah. I guess so, huh? Worst comes to worst, I'll pull a fake name again. Good old Thomas. Hi, baby Innocent girl. drinking buddy. Sheesh, that'd be one hell of a dance. I'd never be able to keep a straight face in your position. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. One more toast, Tommy. To Marie's happiness, wherever it takes her. How can I possibly say no to that? Cheers. Cheers. Go where you have to, Marie. Leave the memories behind. I'll be happy for you. There are no treats here for you, Zelda. I'm sorry. Uh... So you do the rest of these. Hey, am I bugging you, Chichon? I don't have any down oh, here. Nah, of course not. It's just... What's up? Well, uh, Gramps tried to get in touch with me just now. Saying, I'm sure you're busy, but do you think we could still meet? Right, the butler who works for your family. Ever since I joined you guys, I haven't gone to visit him in a long time. He must be real worried about Mutiny, you, Chichon. Mutiny, Zelda. Fine, I'll go get her some treats. I will go get the poodle. I'll fill up her little treat jar. What time are you...
Okay, Zelda, here. I got a treat for Zelda. Here. Zelda, here you go. That's bad, Kel. You don't want to miss your meds. I took my Adderall before the stream, but man, my Adderall has been... I've spent like almost 300 bucks on Adderall for two months. The last two months. It's been fucking bonkers, man. You got your treat. Yeah, no kidding. You know what else he said? I believe Milady is hiding something from me. All I've told him was that I'm just enjoying my time abroad like a typical exchange student. I mean, you gotta hand it to the old man. <laughs> His intuition's pretty sharp. <sighs> yep. My instructor's gotta be the best of the best. Well, why don't you go visit him once? Just so he can see you're doing okay. But if I do, he'll probably figure me out. You said it yourself, he's pretty sharp. And if he picks up that something's off, he's gonna have to report it to my family. Basically, nothing good will come from me seeing Gramps right now. It would put his mind at ease, though. You don't want him to keep worrying over you, right? I have well, to go through CBS. Yeah, you've got a point. It's been kind of hard on him. You sure you want to leave him hanging like this? Wouldn't he try to look for you himself? I think I'll be fine. He's old and only just started using a smartphone. He doesn't know anyone else in Hawaii, so he'd have a hard time trying to track me down. Oh, on Gizmo own. wants one too. But all that just means I'm free he to do whining. I think whining. He's reached a ripe old age. Actually, that doesn't make it any better, huh? In fact, he's probably even more lonely. Uh, I don't know what. I mean, I have to. I don't know where the nearest one is. I want to keep going like this just a bit longer. Why don't you try sending him something different from usual then? Uh, I don't follow. <laughs> you guys Herb. have only been sending texts, right? A mouth breather. Maybe you could add a video or a picture. Change it up. Hmm. Okay, then what do you suggest? Yep. How about we take a group photo with everyone and send it over? Just tell them us guys have been looking out for you. Yeah, I don't know about that. Seeing me surrounded by a bunch of buffed out dudes, immediate red flag. He'd probably give me the third degree and I'd rather not make him any more worried, you know? Well, uh, even if you don't want to meet him, it probably couldn't hurt to show him at least something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll sleep on it. It's kind of funny in a way. My parents never gave a shit about me. Gramps was the only one who cared. Well, not all family are bound by blood, you know? Hearing you talk about your Gramps reminded me of that. I wasn't related to the man who raised me, Jiro Kasuga. He ran a soap land back in Kamrocho. We definitely had that parent child bond, you know? At least I thought so. Ichiban. If there's even just one person out there well, who... It was fine before this year. It's like things rolled over and then now they're like, oh, okay. It's like they stopped giving me the generic stuff. And maybe I need to, I don't Wouldn't know. would that make them family? Yeah. Guess so. Thanks, I maybe Ichiban. need to tell my doctor next Ooh, time I order it to have him I don't know if Graham's order the fucking family, uh, generic he's shit. He's definitely important to me. He does deserve more than a wall of text, though. Uh, maybe I'll give him a call from time to time. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Your suggestion's not so bad either. I think I will send him something. No, a bit more but it's bullshit Glad with names and stuff like that. That alone makes this all worthwhile. Thanks for the life lesson today. But as you said, capitalism. Jesus, more drink lights. I wasn't trying to talk to Chichan. I guess I did. Yo, Chichan, something the matter? Oh, hey. Um, did you hear everything? Nah, didn't hear a thing. Oh, okay. 
Well, I was on the phone with Gramps, and apparently he heard a pretty disturbing rumor. Don't tell me it was about you. Yep. It's kind of old news oh, now, okay. but word got out that I got into District 5 by stealing someone's passport. I guess it's not so much a rumor, you know, since it's true. Someone's passport, you say? You mean mine? It doesn't really matter who's... Anyway, he heard about how I was looking for the Barracuda's hideout. But that stuff's all water under the bridge now. Can't you just tell him I mean, it was someone else? It's a very nerdy place I you're did. getting. But Gramps is still distraught because the young lady in the rumor sounds just like me. And now he won't believe a single word I say. Wait, hold up. How did your Gramps even hear about these rumors? I thought he didn't know anyone here in Hawaii. I probably underestimated him on that front. He's so polite. He can strike up a conversation with just about anyone. Before I knew it, he made himself a friend. Said Jeff told him all about the rumors. Wait, Jeff? Uh, as in taco guy Jeff? The one selling stolen goods? Yep, the very same. Grams loved his tacos so much, he's been getting them for lunch. Even though he knows that Jeff is kind of shady, he still enjoys talking to him. Well, damn. A former martial artist, a Fujinomi, a butler, and... A smooth talker at his age. I honestly didn't see this coming. Gramps is actually driving me into a corner. We could try bringing him to our side. A former martial artist would make a great ally. Yeah, Cal, good luck. <laughs> real. He's not at the age to be doing this kind of stuff. I mean, he's 77. Yeah, true. I just figured if he was one of us, he'd keep your secrets yeah. all hush-hush. Well, I doubt he's going to find me anytime soon, so I'm trying not to panic right now. Huh? Wait a sec. Aren't you worried he'll wind up in danger somehow? What do you mean? I mean, your Gram's heard yeah. that you went to District 5, right? But since you're not fessing up, what do you think he'll do next? I don't know. I'd make my way to District 5 so I could get to the bottom of this. What? And once I got my hands on some proof, I'd ask you to tell me the truth. But but there's no way Grams could just wander into a place like that. You've got to steal a passport or, or find